In this lesson, we will learn how to work with the ribbon. And the ribbon is the name that's given to this area at the top of our screen. Each of these items here at the top, home, insert, page layout, formulas, data, review, and view, these are all considered ribbon tabs. And so this is the home ribbon. This is the default that you see when you open Excel. When you click on another ribbon tab, you see different options that are associated with that particular ribbon tab. So this is the insert ribbon tab, and you see all of the options that are available within that particular tab. And page layout options are available here. Formulas, data, this is useful for creating and managing databases. Review, some useful tools for reviewing your spreadsheets before they're presented, and different views. There's a couple of things that we can do to customize the ribbon and also to make it more useful for us. So first off, what you can do is you'll notice that the ribbon takes up quite a bit of room at the top of your screen. If you feel that you need more working area at the bottom and you would like to hide the ribbon tabs from view, you can do that very easily by clicking this button in the upper right hand corner of your window. These are the ribbon display options. Now the default, go ahead and click this button, the default is to show the tabs and the commands all the time. But let's say you just want to see the tabs and you want a little bit more working area. If you click this option here, it hides all of the commands but it still shows the ribbon tabs. So when you click on one of them, now the buttons become available, and then when you move away or click anywhere within your worksheet area, then those commands will hide again and you can see the tabs are available. You can also choose to auto-hide the ribbon, and what this does is it hides even the tabs. And so now what you have to do is you have to actually move to the top of your screen and click in this green bar that appears when you move your cursor to the top to allow that to come back. And now when you move your cursor back down and click, then the ribbon toolbars and the commands are both hidden from view again. So now you have to actually come back up here to the ribbon display options to change that. And let's change that back to the default, which is show tabs and commands. Another thing that you can do with the ribbon is you can customize it. So let's say, for example, that there's there are certain commands or features that you use on a regular basis that you would like to create your own ribbon tab. We can actually create our own customized tab that will appear at the top of the screen that we can use anytime that we want. So in order to get to that area, what we're going to do is you can either right click over here on the very far right hand side of your ribbon tab in a blank gray area, right click and choose customize the ribbon. This window looks very, very similar to the quick access toolbar window. And just so that there's no confusion, you can look over here on the left hand side and you can see that we are on the customize ribbon portion of this window. If we did want to modify or take a look at the quick access toolbar options, we could click here. It looks again very similar, but at the top it says customize the quick access toolbar. So we don't want that, we want to customize the ribbon. We're going to go back to the customize the ribbon area and you'll see on the right hand side is a list of all of the main tabs and a checkbox next to the ones that are currently being displayed and you can see that the developer tab is not being displayed it does not have a checkbox if we were to check that box and then click ok now you see we have our developer tab has been added to our ribbon okay so we're going to right click again and choose customize the ribbon. And let's go ahead and turn that developer tab off by removing the checkbox. And let's say that we want to create a customized tab just for ourselves. We're going to click here, new tab. And now you'll notice that there is a new tab, parentheses, custom, and new group. There has to be at least one group within a tab. So now what we're going to do is we're going to give this a name. We're going to click New Tab, click Rename, and let's call this 
My Ribbon tab. Click OK. OK, and then we can change the, the name of a group too. We can call this Group 1. And you can even apply an icon if you like. Click OK. Now just to show you what this looks like before we start adding commands to it, go ahead and click OK. And now you'll see that My Ribbon tab is now being viewed at the top of your screen. You can click it and you'll notice that there are no buttons in there just yet. And we don't even see the name of our group, but that's OK because that will show up when we add buttons to it as well. Right click in the gray area, choose Customize the Ribbon. Let's click this drop down here and take a look at some of the commands that are not currently in the ribbon. OK, when moving commands over into a custom ribbon tab, first you need to make sure that your group is selected. And then we will find the option or the command in the list that we want to add to our ribbon. And let's say that we want to bring a calculator command over. Click on the calculator, click Add. And then that gets added to your group. All right, and let's say that we want to add this auto filter command to our group. We can add this over here as well. Let's move down a little bit and let's say we want to add a form button. And then all the way down at the bottom, let's put some zoom options in here. Zoom in zoom out. Okay, so now we have a couple of a couple of buttons in our first group. We can add another group if we would like. Click new group. I'm going to rename it and call it group 2. And I'm going to add some sort buttons to group 2. Go ahead and click okay. Once you've added the buttons that you'd like to add to your ribbon tab. And now you see that all of those options appear in two different groups on our ribbon tab. Okay, we can zoom in, zoom out, and use any of those buttons as we would on any other ribbon tabs. And that concludes our lesson on working with the ribbon.